If you are looking to make hundreds or thousands of dollars a day with TikTok or Facebook ads, this video is for you. I'm going to show you how I and many others are finding winning viral products to promote on TikTok and Facebook and how we build landing pages, ads, and everything else. You're going to see it all here, so let's get started. All right, today we're going to be talking about the number one TikTok ad spy tool and Facebook ad spy tool all in one dashboard, how we find winning ads and offers to run as affiliate marketers or media buyers, and how we're going to go about targeting the right people so that we can start earning a ton of commissions. Now, for those of you just tuning into this channel, my name is Joey Babineau. I've been doing this since 2002 as a media buyer and affiliate marketer. I've built many websites and earned millions of dollars in the process. I have also created tons of content on this channel, so check it out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Now, let's get started on what is the number one tool for Facebook and TikTok ads spying. The tool we're going to be talking about today is called Pippi Ads. I have done a video in the past about Pippi Ads, but there's something different now. They've actually changed it to incorporate the TikTok ads spy tool as well as the Facebook ads spy tool all in one platform. You can get free access at powerhouseaffiliate.com slash Pippi Ads. The link is right down in the description for free access. I'm going to show you some examples of the best campaigns that I've earned money with as well as other affiliates, how they're earning money running affiliate offers, not only from ClickBank, but also from lead generation campaigns like Debt Relief and Affordable Care Act or health insurance, all of these things. We're gonna find the winning ads and the best products. So let's get started. The first thing we wanna talk about here is the new dashboard at Pippi Ads. If you come into the new dashboard, you can now see they've actually reorganized it. So it's much easier to navigate and you can see here we can filter by TikTok, Facebook, we can see the best ad products, the TikTok, the TikTok shop, as well as specific advertisers if we want to target specific advertisers. Uh, some other things you can see here are the winning products of the day for TikTok and Facebook. So you can see what is trending today and make decisions on whether this is something you wanna explore further. You can see the actual videos, how many impressions, the duration, the amount of likes and engagement. And then you can continue scrolling down on the dashboard to see even more information about the top products and keyword insights, which is very helpful for if you're going to be targeting TikTok in the term in, in search terms. This is very helpful when you start to look at the popularity of these keywords and some of the changes that are happening for finding new viral topics that are going viral on TikTok. So just with the dashboard alone, it's an excellent tool. But let's dive even further, and we're going to use sample products and affiliate cam uh, campaigns. So, for example, if you are an affiliate on a place like ClickBank, you might know that you can come to the ClickBank Marketplace and you can find all of the newest and top offers that are available that we can earn money selling or promoting online. And a lot of people use TikTok and Facebook ads to do that. So with a TikTok ad spy tool or a Facebook ad spy tool, we can start to see what people are doing with these top offers. So for example, if I see Java Burn is a product that I wanna promote, I can earn $143 per conversion. I can say, well, how are people promoting this on Facebook and TikTok? Let's go have a look. So we come into the dashboard and we're gonna click on TikTok, but then right here, we can filter for both TikTok and Facebook, which is excellent. And then we can type in Java Burn. And we can start to see if anybody is in fact running this. So we can see now there are people running these ads on Facebook and TikTok, mostly Facebook, which we can see here. And another thing that makes this tool really helpful is the fact that we can now sort by specific data. And all of these filters are things we can filter by to make it easier to find winning ads. So for example, in this case, I might search for ads that have at least 50 likes. If, a, if an ad has 50 likes, it's probably working and it's probably doing quite well. We can see here, this one here looks like it has 59 likes, nine comments, five shares, and it's been running for 38 days. That to me indicates, hey, this is great. Is it an affiliate now is the question because I'm an affiliate Let's check it out. 
So I'm going to click on the ad and right here I can now see even more information. I can see the ad text. I can see that it says long form Facebook ad, which is pretty interesting as well. You can see all of this was typed out, probably using AI, but who knows? Maybe they actually have really good sales copy. By the looks of the duration of this ad, it is certainly working. I can copy that. I can mimic it, whatever I want to do. I can see more information here, including what, of course, is very important. It is the landing page. Let's see what this person's doing on their landing page. So let's click on it. And here we go. It's a typical affiliate website. You can see here that this is most likely an affiliate running this. Now, I would make some major changes to this page if I was running Facebook or TikTok ads, because really there's no disclaimers, there's no terms or conditions or privacy policy. So I'm not even sure how this one is actually running for so long. However, you can see here that it clicks right to the video, which is again, a affiliate running this product. Very interesting. Now we know it's working on Facebook and we can dive even deeper. We can see all of the data here. We can read the comments. And when you click on here, you can download the actual image which to me also looks like AI generated the image. And we're gonna to go to more detail. Diving deeper into the ads now, we can start seeing more. We can see the actual post itself. We can see the product. We can go down and look at some of the ad data in terms of when it's running, who they're running this to. It looks like it's running right now currently in the United States. This type of product on ClickBank could be run in many countries, so I'm, I'm assuming if it's working here, it could probably work in other countries as well. And depending on how long this has been running, you'll start to see the ad schedule. You'll see the page ID, which allows you to search even further into this tool to see what other offers and ads they are running. So that is very helpful for the Facebook ad spy tool portion of this. I'm going to show another couple of examples here and how you can use this tool to really dive deep into campaigns that are making people a lot of money. This is a, a, an example of a ClickBank product, but now let's go back to the dashboard. And again, let's do another filter with both TikTok and Facebook. And one of the niches that I've had a lot of success with is financial lead generation, especially on Facebook and TikTok. So let's use an example because debt relief is something very uh, popular in the United States, especially. And <clears throat> I wanna see what people are doing for debt relief because it works really well on TikTok and Facebook. Um, on Google search ads, it's a little more difficult because of the cost per click and the fact that you're gonna need a special license to do it. However, there are ways to run debt relief on Google ads. I just won't cover that in this video, but if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, I will do a video specifically on debt relief for Google ads in the future. So let's go debt and let's type in the search here and see what else we can do with this amazing spy tool that we're able to access for free. So coming down, let's have a look. We can see there are tons of ads. Now I could sit here all day and scroll down and it would keep loading more ads. You can see it's gonna load more and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna be going on for hours. A better strategy would be to come in here and use these filters. So basically what I'm gonna look for first are ads that get engagement because engagement is an indicator of success in these social media ads. It also indicates that people are responding to the ad, they're coming in and they're, they're liking the ad. So you can go by shares or likes or comments. In this case, again, let's go with something with high likes. So this is a thousand or more likes. This is just an example. If I wanted to go with less likes, I could do that too. This is just going to drop the amount of ads that I have to scroll through now. And here's a great example right here. I like this, the looks of this check. It looks like a high click through uh, image or video. And it also indicates to me that this could be an affiliate since it's such an amateur image. And as we know, as marketers, these amateur images often work quite well. So I would dive deeper into that one. Let's just see if there's something else here too. Most of the time, it's really easy to spot affiliates. So let's look at this one, for example. Another video that looks like it could be ran on both Facebook and TikTok. And if I click on it, again, I can come in here, I can do many things. I can download the video itself. I can look at the ads text again, like I mentioned before. But in this case, I wanna see if this is an affiliate. So I'm gonna click on here. 
And yes, this really does look like an affiliate. This is a advertorial, a type of landing page. I've done videos on landing pages, so I'll put those down in the description as well. But this looks excellent to me. It's very quick and painless. It has all of the things like the terms and conditions I mentioned earlier, privacy policy, and it looks more like something I would want to mimic. And coming in here, let's just click on calculate now and see what happens. Okay, so this is an affiliate because they are using a tracking software. And since I didn't come through the ad itself, it's not letting me click. However, what I can do if I really want to go further is I can see the ad itself by clicking more details or see Facebook post. And you can see here, I can now see the ad post itself. But I feel like I have to show people. It's going to bring up the actual Facebook post. And what I can do here is I can click the learn more button and actually go through their tracking link. I won't do that to them today. But you can now go down further and see even more information about some of the comments and what's happening with this advertisement. So that's great stuff that we can do with this tool. Now, if you're running anything on TikTok specifically, and you want to dive deeper into certain areas of TikTok, one of the things that I'd had a lot of success with was loans. So if you search loans on TikTok, um, one of the things that happened with me is I lost my ad account on TikTok for running loans. And the reason is because I was flashing cash in my ads. Now I do have another new ad account that I have for TikTok. And inside the Powerhouse Affiliate Forum, at powerhouseaffiliate.com, we have a specific post on how you can get access to all of these accounts easily using a service that is completely legit, 100% white hat. This isn't anything sketchy. It is a service that gives you access to agency accounts. Check out the Powerhouse Affiliate Forum for that. However, looking in here at loans, let's go in and have a look at what we can find. And what I would do for TikTok in particular with this type of thing is I would be searching for ad duration because if it's a high duration ad for the type of offer I wanna run, it likely means that they are following policy. And have a look here at the duration of some of these ads, 450, uh, sorry, 161, 66 days. When it's running that long, these are the types of ads we're going to be looking at. We want to make sure they're not flashing any cash. They're not doing anything really um, obviously against terms. And we want to find out exactly what they're doing to follow policy. And again, I'm not going to go into these ads specifically, but you already know how this tool can help us do that. So you might be saying, hey, Joey, that's great. That tool's awesome. You can spy on TikTok ads. You can spy on Facebook ads. But why wouldn't you just use the free tools like the TikTok Creative Center and the Facebook ads library. Well, the problem with these two tools is they don't give you the metrics that we can filter, especially when it comes to the duration filter, as well as the other filters like the engagement filters. If we're just going through these free tools and we're trying to find good ads, you're gonna find that most of the ads aren't even in there. And secondly, they're not gonna give you all of this information that we wanna find because this tool is actually scraping these ads and finding that data through the APIs that they have set up. And it gives us all that data. Another thing that those tools will not do is filter based on certain things. So basically, let's go into the products and you can click on top products. And what you're able to do here, especially if you're in e -com, this is excellent. You can start searching all of these top networks or ad platforms or platforms, I mean, and you can see what what specific products are hot on say Shopify for today and you can go weekly you can go monthly you can select a specific date and you can start to see what other people are doing in their stores to promote products <clears throat> and if you're an affiliate on a network that has a lot of e-commerce offers this is excellent as well like uh, if you're running on giddy up or another e-commerce platform you might find those products are easily found through this spy tool and another feature you can use here is new products so you can see what's trending in the last say 24 hours three days past seven days you can see all of these filters if you want to filter it by growth and country and the amount of likes and etc this allows you to find out what's trending and when you follow the trend especially on TikTok ads you can see some massive growth and some really, I've heard of stories where people are making sometimes upwards of $100,000 a day with a trending offer on TikTok. 
And you can bring those ads right over to Facebook as well with the Facebook Reels and all of those other uh, ad types that are available on Facebook. So this is why this tool, Pippi Ads, to me is one of the best ones. And I have the VIP membership, as you can see up here. And you can try it out, like I said, for free. Just check that link in the description. Start for free. Come in and check out the TikTok ad spy tool, the Facebook ad spy tool. You can search for all of the top products, the new products, and you can even specifically search for any types of lead generation offers you want to run and see how people are compliantly running these ads. One more thing I wanted to mention is that you can actually also see, which I probably already mentioned, you can see specifically who they are targeting in the more detail tab of this. And you can go down and see their actual specific target targeting here. You can see this one's running in Canada and the United States in the age group of 25 plus. And so those are things that we can't typically find when we're using any free tools out there like the ads libraries. So if you like that video and you want to learn more about Pippi Ads, simply go to the website or come into the Powerhouse Affiliate Forum where we have more discussion on these types of tools on how to spy on ads, especially TikTok and Facebook. And if you like the video, please don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.